We're about to bake my Graham's famous monster cookies. I am 17 years old and a senior in high school. I am a Kamala captain and the high school organizing lead here in Dubuque. This election will be the first one I'm able to participate in and I cannot wait to caucus for Kamala Harris. I am so yes. excited. And let me just tell you, I mm -hmm. saw how you have it yeah. handwritten. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly in my family how we have passed down recipes. Yeah. Like these handwritten, mm -hmm. and it's got a little bit of butter and sugar <laughs> on it. Uh -huh. like it's been yes. used. Uh -huh. I just, I love it. So, yeah. okay, tell me. Tell me your grandmother's recipe. Well, it came from, she did potlucks with friends when she was a young mom in Spencer, Iowa. Uh -huh. And she just got the recipe from someone there. And then you can see that she adjusted it. Um, she didn't want the chocolate chips and she didn't want the nuts in it. Okay, but wait a minute. Oh. So your grandmother <laughs> has the recipe that would yes. involve a whole dozen eggs. Uh huh. So this is yeah. for how many cookies? Um, like a hundred. <laughs> Literally, right? Literally like a hundred. Like this one that we're going to make today makes about 30. Okay. And this is a fourth of the recipe. It's a whole situation. Uh -huh. Okay, I got it. Yeah. We're going to start with the eggs. Okay. So do you want to crack one? Yeah. Okay. You can do it one handed. Yeah. You're a pro. Yeah, come you on can just now. Put them right back okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh>. Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. This takes a whole stick of butter, which is, seems like a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, it just makes it yummy. Uh huh. And then we have our sugar. Okay, and then we can mix a little bit here. Do you want to mix? Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is the beginning of any good cookie recipe. Uh -huh. I always, when I was a kid, I would just like dip a spoon in. Yeah. Oh, this part. <laughs> I mean, it is just so yummy. Uh -huh. and, and, I mean, what, butter and sugar? What would uh -huh. be better in the world? Yeah, yeah. I've never tried this, though, as it is. It's just, I don't, I mean, I don't recommend it. <laughs> you don't recommend it? I mean, I do recommend it, but it's probably not healthy, it's but it's just not. really delicious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then. So you don't do flour? We don't do flour. They're like. Interesting. Anything. This is like a substitute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay maybe you're stronger than I am. Let me see. So then we're going to do a tablespoon. Yeah. One tablespoon? Yep. Okay. Now we can mix it again. Okay. And then we're going to add it in the pan. I have never had one of these cookies. <laughs> yeah. I am so excited. Like a spatula was meant to do exactly, and then at the end just to eat. Just, like just, yeah. Yeah. So we're only going to put about six on the pan because they're going to get huge. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about how you became so interested and active. I just, living in Iowa, getting to see so many candidates come and speak, yeah. I just, I really took the opportunity to go listen. Yeah. And I was just mm -hmm. totally inspired. And really, I think it goes back to you during the Kavanaugh hearings, mm -hmm. was so inspiring. Not just that, how, how you questioned him, but also how you applauded her her courage. Yeah. It just meant so much for, to me to be able to see you lead like mm. that. What was that like? You know, it was, I mean, I have to tell you, it was very frustrating yeah. Yeah. from beginning to end because, you know, I mean, everything from not having a real process, there should have been a real FBI investigation, a yeah. robust investigation. So that was frustrating yeah. that there wasn't a real investigation. You know, I mean, I specialized for so much of my career on crimes against women and children. Right. And for her to be treated so badly mm -hmm. just made me mad. Yeah. Because, you know, she was living a very good private life. Mm -hmm. And she learned that he was nominated and she felt it her civic duty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To tell everybody what she knew because she knew that what she knew should be considered before he's put on the court. Right. And it, she was very selfless in that way. Yeah. You know, and so that hearing, and by the time I, I spoke, and, you know, being one of the more junior ones on the committee, I was one of the last. I just, I was so upset by the whole process that right. when, I, when I first spoke, I just, I was like, you are not on trial. Yeah. I so admire her courage, because I'll yeah. tell you, there's something about what she did, and it was that great personal sacrifice mm -hmm. that in, inspired so many people, women and men, because mm -hmm. this is an issue that impacts men also, mm -hmm. to come forward and tell their stories and have the courage yeah. to do it. Here's the thing, here's the beauty of it. You watching that, and then 
being inspired by whatever made you upset about it, but also made you feel a sense of connection to it. And then you took that into a role of leadership. When I see her next, I will tell yeah. her about Avery, <laughs> right? Okay. You inspire so many people who you may not even realize are being inspired. Yes. That's what Dr. Ford did for you, yeah. and that's what you're doing for so many people. Yeah. Okay, let's put these in the oven, come <laughs> on. And then we'll just time it. Okay. I think the recipe said what, 10 to 15 minutes? 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going in. Okay. Oh my God, I've been looking at this guy. Ah, oh, look at how that just <laughs> bends. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, they're like soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. Good first monster cookie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a peanut butter oatmeal chocolate chip cookie in one. Mm-hmm. I now is, realize what this like is. It's the best things. All together. Right mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. I'm so I happy really to spend time with you. Yeah, I'm happy to spend time with you. You're amazing. <laughs> We're amazing. Are you kidding me?